Okay, we have a gaming PC. It's a very giant one, so hopefully, hopefully my table will not break. Okay, it's a water cooling. It's got it built by someone else, which is great. They've done a beautiful job, except one of the cables here is sticking out. Not sure if it should be sticking out like this under the motherboard. That's bad. But anyway, that's what they've done. But this one apparently has a kernel error from Windows, so I'm going to turn this computer on, leave it on for a while, and see if I can repeat the error, and then we'll have a look at the issue. Get the wrong power cord. Oh yeah, I left it here. For the oscilloscope again. Okay. Off position, good. All right, we'll get the HDMI. Okay, and a keyboard and a mouse. You can power on the unit now. Oh, nice. Grand Bazaar. Here we come. Okay. I'll tell the system to not to crash, not to reboot after a system failure. <clears throat> okay, we're at the login screen. I'll quickly change uh, crash options so it doesn't actually crash. Uh, it doesn't actually reboot. I think that was under system management, yeah. So basically the user said that all they did is activate Windows and it did a bunch of updates and the computer was starting to give a um, blue screen of death. Okay. Oh yeah, system protection. No. Let's go to control panel. And system and security. System, nope. Uh, system protection, yep. And advanced startup and recovery. Disable, uh, nope. Automatically restart. Okay, so basically we're changing. Automatically restart, we're turning that off. Okay. Okay, great. I will right, connect it online to our internet and see what he will do and when he will crash. Connect to our network. We're just going to let it run, play some YouTube videos, and then we'll come back at the condition. See if it will tell us why it crashed. And YouTube, sure I can do. Okay, I'll see you shortly. Actually, the system has shut down since I was gone. I'm going to put it on record and then I will edit the video. So we'll go to number. There we go. Power on again. 
make another account for ourselves and we'll test it that way there's a lot of user data so we can't show any of that i'll connect to obs hdmi uh no we'll do um let me let me think how do we do this guy it's a bit tricky the case is massive go on all right uh i'll just add a new user Okay. All right, now we'll simply go into OBS with this. So it has a display port out, so we can do two screens. Okay, here we go. And picture will do duplicate. Yep. Okay, let's go. So this is a new account. If it crashes, crashes, sure. Okay, we'll come back shortly. Okay, I'll disconnect this guy. It keeps interfering. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, see you shortly.
Okay, it's a new day. So this problem is very interesting. The reason why it's very interesting, it actually turns off after about eight minutes. I'm going to turn the system back on, see if I can find a... It will be really hard to see an event log. One of the reasons being is when it hard crashes, it shuts down without a chance to properly uh, make a log entry in the Windows event log. So let's go ahead and bring the system back up. Power on. Um, yep, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> this is a tricky one. All the beautiful colors, but no dice. Okay. <clears throat> booting up and dual screen setup good Aorus so that's a gigabyte so we got MSI uh, GPU beautiful water cooling nice setup hmm and take fans all right we're in let's see if we can look at the event log see if it if it shows anything okay <clears throat> Okay, very hard to see on this tiny screen. Okay, I'll do a duplicate so I can see on the bigger screen too. Yep, here we are. Okay, um, manage. Okay, manage computer device, manage computer management. And event viewer, Windows logs, and system. What do we see in system? Ooh, okay, here we go. Rebooted, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, okay. Okay. Okay, so why does this system shut down by force? Um, is there kernel power, okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's uh, make sure this is on the internet. So we'll give it a cable connection to the internet. We'll check the temperature as for it. Because if it happens around eight minutes without much of an internet activity, like GPU activity, and it crashes, it's kind of weird. Okay. Okay. Open hardware monitor. Let's download that before the system crashes. <clears throat> what? What the? Are you serious? Wow, kind of bizarre. What's wrong with Microsoft? Okay. Okay. Let's see what's happening here. 18. These are... That's the ITE Super I.O. Okay, 86, 88E. Okay. 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 Okay, so two hard drives. Uh, one SSD. Okay. Uh, task Manager, which will give us a uptime here 2 minutes 51 seconds 32 gigabyte ram okay all right occt download this is going to put it under stress to a certain degree I'm really curious as to what can cause it. So let's have a look at um, also if there is any old blue screen view, any old blue screen crashes. The user had said about kernel 41 or kernel. Okay. Okay, blue screen view. Let's keep that up there to give us a time when it will crash. So there's no any recording of a proper crash log. Maybe we need admin rights. Okay, nothing there. Okay. So 
but it's very cold at the moment here, so 22 degrees for a GPU. Okay. Okay. Memory. That's the VRAM. Power. Okay, before that, let's have a look at system information. We're running F32. X570 Okay, let's have a look. RGB system information, app viewer, app center. Yeah, sorry about the glitching there. I can see what's happening there. And at BIOS. Certain lines on the screen cause this HDMI thingy to go mental. It's the HDMI switch. It's not the GPU, it's not happening on the other monitor. It's okay. You're the one suffering, not me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, it will be kind of stupid to do a BIOS update, especially when the system is not stable like this. In Windows, that is. Uh, okay, update. Okay, you know what? We'll just download this guy and open before the system crashes. And we'll get a 32 gig or some you any USB. Plug it in. Is that a thirty-two? Okay, great. Copy that BIOS file across. Yeah, I'm not going to do the BIOS update here. It's a bit too risky. I'm going to have to manually, otherwise, reflash the motherboard using a um, clip. I don't want to do that. Okay, what we'll do? We'll shut the computer down. We'll do the BIOS update through the uh, BIOS system. Okay, system did shut down gracefully. Power on. Let's go. Pressing the delete key. USB is still plugged in. Okay. Okay. Um, Q flash F8. Okay, and... Let's have a look. So F32 is the current BIOS, okay. USB. We're gonna put 37A. Yes. Okay, that's ready. Let's continue. Start.
I am practicing um, using how to, I'm practicing how to use the oscilloscope. All right, great. Okay, that's still going, good. Okay, it's rebooting. Okay, so that's coming up. Uh, let's see if the BIOS is reset or not. It's doing one more reboot. Okay, booting into our Windows. Okay, so that's up and running. Let's see when the system will crash. So what we'll do, we'll just open what we did before, just a YouTube video. It crashed through two times already. Just watching some videos, the old classic one. All right. Okay. Where is that video BIOS guy?
It's good. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, um, not this guy, this guy. Electronic repair resource area. It's for Morocco, I believe. Based on people's requests, he actually makes videos. Pretty cool. If you want to learn about BIOS editing, he's crazy about BIOS files and editing, so we'll just let it run on that and put the timer on. If it passes uh, 9 minutes, 10 minutes, then we'll do the benchmark test stress test yeah we'll let that run i'll be right back i'll mute the microphone for now i'll set a timer on here
Okay. All right. It actually did crash. Okay. So BIOS update has nothing to do with it. All right. So we can rule that out. But it is, it is a hard crash. Okay. Power on the system again. Okay. Now we have to. We should, in fact, um, shut the computer down. Power off. And we'll switch camera. Okay, let's switch camera. If we can find the remote control, which is supposed to be here. And here it is, okay. To camera number three. Okay. So we are going to remove the GPU. This is a hard crash. It's interesting. It actually does a hard crash. Oh no, don't tell me this is one of those cases where top has to come off first. Yeah, okay, all right. Okay. Okay. And there may be some glass here, maybe not. Just lights out. Okay. ROG certified glass, really? And a certification for a glass? Okay. Sure, for safety reasons. Okay. So here is the inside. Power is in the off position. Okay, anything obvious around here? Nothing. Maybe we can test the operating system. How about we do that first? Okay. Too big. Okay, there's one more. I think there's a problem with the way this one is set up. Yeah, it's bent too much. I don't know if that's an issue, it's on an angle. There isn't a support. It's supposed to be some kind of support like that. That should move here and the screw should go on top of that. There's a good chance this may have been bent. I don't know, but we'll find out. So we'll go ahead and get a Lenovo. So what I mean by that, this guy should be taken out of its position for us to do that. Let me see if this will do it. Just can force it. No, okay. I'll get a bigger hole version. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's do this properly. All right, where is the other tools? Nope. Hmm. I don't think these guys are going to fit, no. Oh, thank you. Okay, there we go.
Wow, okay. Spam, let's see. Hello, Sir Can speaking. Okay, so we can't seem to get that bugger out easily. Um, not going to bother for now, okay? Maybe it's part of the motherboard, I don't know. They, maybe it's the top part that comes out. Okay, I'm not going to bother. All right, let's go get our SSD, this guy here. Ah, and this is a jewel. This should be jewel, isn't it? Let me see. No, it's single. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to bend our one too. Okay. It's fine. He is. He will be fine like that. So the bottom part didn't actually need a screw. I think it's just the top part that needs screw. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. It's kind of weird. Okay. Um, it does feel weird. I think there's something missing. There has to be something missing. Okay. It's okay. Power on. This should have a Lenovo. If, um, there will be activation issues. That's fine. Okay. Let's see what we see on the screen. This way we can roll out the SSD and the operating system entirely. Whoever built the system is kind of weird. The base is also loose. Okay. Is it going to boot? Take my USB out. Uh, no. Okay. okay. Right. Uh, I'll get another SSD. Maybe this one got wiped. That's out. The other one is in. Okay, power on. No, okay. That's fine. We'll just uh, should restart because it's probably from another system. Okay. Let it continue. It hard crashes. It's interesting. And GPU is not being utilized at all. Uh, okay, restart. Okay, that's a new system, so it's going through its uh, detecting hard drive and whatnot. It's okay. Okay. It's not a customer's data on it. Let's see. I'll just blur the screen for a minute.
do I see? Nah, bummer, okay. Wrong SSD, okay. What should we do? Let me get another SSD. Power up. All right, another SSD in place. Ah, screw this. All right, I'm going to install new Windows um, 10 quickly. Let's see if the system will crash anyway during installation. There we go. It's rebooting now. Well, it's supposed to be. It is not. Okay. There we go. Interesting. It's now shutting down after a reboot. So this is actually a, definitely a hardware fault somewhere. So different SSD, just trying to boot from a USB. This is very interesting. So I'll disconnect the HDMI. So our input will not change. There we go. Power on. Check it out. Shut down. So I'm not touching it. My hands are here. No, it's on. Wow. Second screen up. Okay. That's so weird. Oh, it turned off. Oh, here we go. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. I wonder if this is not in. Unusually hot. Very unusual. I wonder if the water cooling is not in properly. I want to see BIOS if I can quickly. Yeah, th this is definitely thermal related. This behavior is so strange. All right, let me take out the power of the system. Take this out. That's my SSD. Okay, put that there. That's their cooling. And power on. Oh, power switched off. Okay. That screw feels like maybe it's that's how it is. Okay. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Delete, delete, delete. Temperature not turned off. Like for a computer that just turned on, this CPU is incredibly hot like just there wow i kind of my glove is getting hot so just there 57 59 degrees just there yeah a little bit deeper i had 60 something register Fifty-six. Okay, definitely some kind of a cooling issue. Fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, like fifty-nine. There, get the late. OK, 
Come on, get into BIOS. Quick, 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 quick. Shuts down, okay. It will definitely be not a GPU issue. Um, the same thing should happen. I'm going to remove the GPU. Something not right. Power is off. And there is a support frame for this GPU, which is size of a Intel NAC or even bigger. That up. Okay. Press the button there. Whoa. Giant. Let's put him somewhere safe. There we go. Now, power on. Where did your beautiful colors go? There we go. Okay. Check signal cable, of course. So this has a onboard CPU, uh, GPU because you've got a numlock key and no boot error beepings. Uh, I'll connect the other HDMI screen. Okay, we'll do a reboot. One second. Waiting for onboard GPU to kick in. Should be any time now. Still nothing. So numlock is not responding, but it's shutting down here too. Definitely this guy is not working giant cooler what's going on there either he's not making good contact or something new really hard to say Yeah, I don't think he's working. Wow, it's super hot there. It's definitely overheating. Oh, sheesh. Can't believe it. Is this thing even touching it? It's hard to say. It's really hard to say if the water cooling block is actually making contact. Or is that just a normal behavior?
That is incredibly hot. Wow. It must be making contact. Because the some of the thermal paste is here. It must be making contact. Let's try again. One side in. <clears throat> Scan. Hello? Services will be auto renewed and $99.99 .99 will be debit from your bank account. So mm. enjoy your Amazon Prime services. If you wish to cancel the services, then to speak to our cancellation department Oof. by pressing 1. Here we go. Let's speak to the Indian Scammer Center. Here. Thank you for getting connected to Amazon Prime. This is Twin. How may I help you? Oh, how can I help you? Uh, your computer has been hacked. I need to remotely log into your computer. <laughs> That's Amazon scams. Fucking hell. I did nothing there. Simply remove and re put it back in. Okay. Boom. Okay. Next, we'll test the power supply. So, um, let's see. It's not turning on. I mean the this guy is it supposed to turn on only when required so we've got a numlock light which is not going away we should unless it's still posting Yeah. I can now touch the copper. And I'm not burning. It's nice. The end bit there before my hand burns. Okay. Still nothing. Let's give it a super high end graphics. Yeah, Tesla AI GPU. <laughs> All right. Because the internal GPU, I'm not getting anything on the display. Okay. Maybe there isn't one on this. Does this have a speaker? No, it doesn't have a speaker. Okay. Okay, we're getting screen. Delete. Um, wow, CPU temperature is 70. <laughs> is that normal for a such a computer? It's just turned on. That is not normal. PCH is 31, okay. 3.8 gigahertz. Is that normal temperature? I think it's, ter it's turning off from the thermal issue. Power off, and we'll put the resistor back in. Okay. Camera may fall down. Haven't secured this guy properly yet. Okay. Power off.
Okay, we'll let it do driver updates and we'll launch the super resource intensive YouTube and let's see what will happen. So it still crashes, don't forget, on the, uh, with the main GPU in or out. Okay. Okay, I'll just get it online. I'll do a driver check. Uh, open hardware device monitor, yes. Seventy. 70 degrees for a CPU at this stage. Wow. That is not normal, mate. Okay. Okay, it should automatically update GPU drivers. Okay, I'll go into YouTube. Wow, 85 degrees for a CPU. That's quite horrible. Okay, so definitely thermal issues. So 72%. It's reached 85 already. Unusual, okay. Eighty two degrees. PCH fan hasn't kicked in yet. Eighty eight degrees, eighty nine, ninety, ninety point three. <laughs> oh no, this is not normal. Okay. It should shut down anytime soon. Ninety one. Ninety one point three. Oh no, it's gone. No, it's doing the driver update again. Okay. There we are. 91.4. There we go, 91.5. Doing nothing, yeah? Of course, it's going to crash anytime soon. Okay, it's a thermal issue, definitely. Either this. Fan is not, this GPU, the CPU cooling is not doing anything or something else. So if you run this guy, yes. If you just do the benchmark. Um, CPU, it's just going to kill it. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. 300%. Ah, here we go. 90.6. Oh, it's being throttled, I think, because of temperature. Where is the task manager? Performance. CPU temperature is 0 0.73. It's been throttled down. Yeah. So definitely thermal issues. Yeah, look at that. Because of the temperature. Okay. All right. We're going to shut this computer down. That's the issue with this. All right. I'll quote the client on options, see what they want to do. We'll go from there. For now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. 
Please subscribe to support this channel.